Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day today. It is... Why do I do that with my head? I always itch my head. Uh, 13 degrees Fahrenheit? No. 13 degrees Celsius. I'll put that in Fahrenheit below. And today I wanted to talk about a specific thing. And I guess you'll notice from the thumbnail that I want to discuss this knob. I'm going to show you exactly how it works, why people have trouble with it, and we're also going to put on the Be Expanded Under Armour because uh, that goes back on for me in the summertime. It doesn't go on in the wintertime because the drive shaft for my front mount snowblower is in the way and it doesn't have a cutout for the drive shaft so or the PTO shaft. So I'll go get that now and we'll go under the tractor and take a look at what's going on. So under the tractor, this is the exact reason why your knob won't turn if your rear PTO is not in the top position. And that knob can rotate in both directions. You can see there's a metal flange and a bunch of grooves up there. That's what's allowing it to notch when you turn it left or right. It doesn't matter which way you turn it. What changes are the teeth right here. And those teeth ride in a channel right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera here, I'm gonna start the tractor, and I'm gonna lower the three-point turn, and you watch what happens to this and why you don't you aren't able to turn it. So right now it is completely disengaged. And there's nothing stopping it from rotating. So I don't know if I can reach it from here. But that can just rotate, no problem. See? It just rotates. And that changes the distance of those clicks. So left and right, no problem. Back and forth. Is that going to be a weird angle for you? Let me know in the comments. So you can see that it's rotating. And now I'll lower the three point hitch at the back. And here goes, ready? See that arm? Now the arm goes. And then that's gonna stop like that. So these arms will only go down a certain distance because that's what I've set it for on the knob. Okay, so now you can see that the, this bar has engaged the teeth and I'm no longer able to rotate. So now this, you can see this tooth is engaged on that spindle that was rotating. This means it's locked and now you won't be able to rotate it. So when people say I can't rotate it, it's because they're three-point attachments are lowered and it's engaging the teeth at that specific spot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up and then you'll also notice that there's a space and a tab. So the tab is what keeps it in the top dead center and then at the zero it, it can freely flow within that uh, indented space. So I'll start the tractor now. I'll raise up the three-point attachments. You'll see this bar remove and I'll be able to rotate that knob again. All right. So there's the B expanded Under Armour. Very well built, very happy with it. It protects the whole undercarriage of the BX, especially the HST fan, the hydrostatic transmission fan. So let's go underneath and see what's going on. So it's really easy to install. There's some, you can see up at the front here, my hands in the way. Up front here, there's some uh, pegs that were installed 
that I installed when I bought this. The front just slip over those. And then right here, you just pull these springs and those lock into place. I'll do that on the other side, like that. And I'll do it on the other side. There we are. So then this will freely work when my when I'm using my three-point attachments at the back. This will go up and down. This is fantastic to protect all the innards. But I don't need it to come down this far. So let's just rotate the knob now. A little higher. I'm happy with that. So that's how you adjust that rotating knob. It's just a, a metal press fit that rotates and it's got a indented different sizes to allow you to change the height of the mid mat mower. It's mainly controlled by the, the hydraulic system for the rear three point hitch. But as you see, you can just push it up and rotate it by hand. It's no big deal. So don't overthink it. As long as your rear three-point hitch is in its top position, you can rotate that freely because that, that uh, hook is not attached to it or not blocking the uh, indents. So thank you very much. If you like this channel, please hit the subscribe button. What did you do on your land today?